In the ionizer world, we often talk about the many benefits of alkaline ionized water, but we rarely go into detail about what they actually are. Therefore, we feel it's important to share some of these benefits with you, and we hope to prove them with a few demonstrations and experiments. So, as you'll be able to tell by its name, alkaline ionized water is very different to the standard water you get from a tap. As a result, it has many useful properties. But for now, we're going to focus on the benefits offered by its alkaline nature. Alkalinity is measured on the pH scale, which ranges from 1 to 14. A pH of 7 marks a neutral point with any lower levels being acidic and any higher levels being alkaline. Therefore, a substance is defined as being alkaline when it has a pH of over seven. Drinking water with an alkaline pH holds great value for the body, as nowadays we consume a large amount of acidic foods. Therefore, alkaline water helps to neutralize the often acidic pH in our bodies to optimal levels for enzymes and many metabolic processes. This in turn helps to reduce acid reflux and aids in bone strength, making them more durable against fractures and breaks. Unfortunately, almost all the liquids we drink have an acidic pH. To demonstrate this, we collected a range of common soft drinks, including lemonade, fruit squash, bottled water, and tap water and tested them out with our pH meter. First up was the lemonade, which we expected to be the most acidic of the group. Unsurprisingly, it registered a pretty low pH of around 3.3, which meets the expectations for a fizzy drink. Next up, we tested fruit squash, which we prepared with a 1 to 4 ratio with tap water. And like the lemonade, this registered a predictably low pH of 3.5, despite its large water component. Moving on from the sugar heavy drinks, we looked at our bottled water sample, which provided a much more promising result than the previous drinks, with a neutral score of exactly seven. Finally, we tested the standard tap water from our local source. Unsurprisingly, this gave the best result of the set, with a relatively neutral pH of a bit over seven. All of these results were rather disappointing, and in comparison to our alkaline water sample, they clearly showcase the growing issue of acidity in our diets. While some samples such as tap and bottled water didn't do poorly, they don't have an alkaline pH, and therefore they don't contribute to neutralizing our acidic levels in our body. Therefore, you don't get the benefits that derive from that. Moving on from its alkaline properties, Water has also been shown to provide faster and more efficient hydration around the body. Now, this may sound a bit strange as surely water is water and it provides the same hydration. And whilst that's technically correct, ionized water is slightly different in its composition as when it goes through an ionizer, it is electrolyzed. This causes the typically large clusters of H2O molecules to be broken down into microclusters. These microclusters can then move into cells with much greater ease through osmosis than a large cluster would be able to. This benefit can be demonstrated easily through a simple tea diffusion test in a comparison between tap water and ionized water. On the left, we have a glass of standard tap water poured straight from our tap. And on the right side, we have a glass of ionized water, which we collected from the Alcaviva Vesta H2. We then added a tea bag into each glass. And with no stirring, we left them for five minutes to soak and diffuse into the water. As the five minutes progress, you can see that the tea color in the ionized water glass is growing stronger in comparison to the left. Now, with the time complete, we will quickly remove the tea bags and with a clean spoon, we will stir each glass simultaneously to mix the diffused tea evenly. At this stage, the color difference is very noticeable, and this is due in a large part 
to the smaller water clusters that make up ionized water. The final important property of alkaline ionized water that offers key benefits is its ORP. ORP stands for Oxidation Reduction Potential, and it is measured on a scale in millivolts. A positive ORP reading is indicative of oxidizing agents being present in water, and a negative reading suggests the presence of reducing agents or antioxidants. We won't go into too much detail here as things get very scientific, but in basic terms, when it comes to water, a negative ORP reading is the ideal, as this implies the presence of lots of hydroxide ions. These hydroxide ions are known as antioxidants, and they offer many useful benefits around the body. However, most common drinks today contain very few of them, and in fact have a positive ORP. Going back to our earlier drink samples, we can see that all of these common drinks are averaging a positive ORP of at least 300. Lemonade provided a score of positive 450 to 460. Orange Squash provided a score between positive 370 and 380. Bottled Water did nearly as poorly, with an average of about positive 350. And finally, Tap Water marginally did the best, with a max score of positive 345. Drinking water that actually contains antioxidants is very useful though, as their primary role is to fight and neutralize free radicals in the body by sharing their spare electrons. This helps to keep skin younger, as when not dealt with, free radicals actually attack cells, causing them damage, which in turn leads to wrinkles and general skin aging. On top of that, antioxidants also protect the immune system as a whole by dealing with positively charged toxins and chemicals thanks to their negative charge and thus the attraction between them. Some of the theory behind this can be proved by an experiment of washing tomatoes in ionized water. As with the tea test on the left, we have a glass of standard tap water to act as a control. And on the right, we have some freshly collected alkaline ionized water. The ionized water has a great ORP reading of negative 820. And the tap water has a less impressive reading of positive 280. We then added a tomato into each glass and left them to soak for a total of 10 minutes. These tomatoes had no treatment in advance and we have attempted to keep them both a similar size and shape to make the test as fair as possible. As they soak, the ionized water should be gradually attracting positively charged pesticides and chemicals away from the tomato surface with its negative charge, which should result in a slight color change. Once the 10 minutes were over, we gave the tomatoes another five stirs each before removing them from the glasses. The resulting samples can then be compared with a subtle but noticeable difference between them. At this point, it is clear that the ionized water was much more effective at cleaning the tomatoes thanks to its antioxidants and negative charge, and it is able to have a similar positive effect in the body too. We hope this explanation has given you a visual understanding of the actual benefits of alkaline ionized water. While we haven't quite covered every benefit, we have tried to highlight the key ones with tests to help you understand the effects ionized water can have in your body. From these tests, it is evident that ionized water can help with a range of ailments, thanks to its properties. And it can also leave you feeling more energized, simply through those micro water molecule clusters, penetrating cells with much greater ease.